Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Carrie Stober, the manager for the Plein Air Salon, and we are here tonight to announce the winners for the February Plein Air Salon competition. Before we get started, I'd like to let those of you who are new to the salon know who we are. The Plein Air Salon is a monthly online art competition that was created by publisher Eric Rhodes. He's the creator of Plein Air Magazine. The winners of each of our monthly and competitions gets entered into our annual competition that we hold in May, where the grand prize winner receives a check for $15,000 and their painting featured on the cover of Plein Air Magazine. In total, we award over $33,000 a year throughout the monthly and annual competitions. A lot of people ask, is that only for plein air paintings? And the answer is no. Since this competition was created by Plein Air Magazine, we do have plein air in our name. However, we are not strictly a plein air competition. Just like our magazine, a lot of plein air artists paint in various styles, mediums, and subjects, and we feature all of that in the magazine. And so this competition is also open to various styles, mediums, and subjects. We have 12 monthly cycles with various judges, and we award $1,100 each month to the first, second, and third place winners, as well as the People's Choice Award. Then each of our 19 category award winners receives a $100 gift card to PaintTube TV for an instructional video of their choice. And they, along with our 19 honorable mentions, receive recognition and promotion through our various magazines, newsletters, websites, and social platforms. As I said before, the 23 monthly winners are automatically included in the annual competition that we hold in the spring, where we award over $22,000. We announce the awards live on stage at the Plenary Convention, and the grand prize winner will receive a check for $15,000 and their winning painting featured on the cover of Plenary Magazine. I wanted to chat a little bit more with you about the annual competition since it actually ends tomorrow night. In April, we will take all of our monthly winners from this last year, which is about 276. All of those winners will then become our semi-finalists for the annual competition, and we will have those go through a blind judging round where we will then select the top 25 finalists, similar to how we do our top 100 for each of the monthly competitions. And then um, our judges will then select the top 10 winners that we will be awarding at the convention. And we do invite all of our finalists to come to the convention because it's much more fun to have someone run up stage and hand them a, a check or a certificate rather than just say, oh, here's Joe's painting, but Joe's not here. So I highly recommend if you are a finalist to come to the convention. Plus it's just fun to come. This is Anna Rose Bain. This is um, her receiving her honorable mention award last year in Santa Fe. We award three honorable mentions each year and they each receive $500. Next is our People's Choice Award. This is selected the same way as our annual, or sorry, as our monthly People's Choice Award. Each artist shares their painting on social media, and whoever receives the most votes wins the award and a $500 prize. This is me with Eric and Jane Hunt after presenting her with her People's Choice Award last year. Then we have our top three awards. This is the lovable Kathy Odom receiving third place last year. The third place winner receives a $1,500 cash prize and a feature article in Plein Air Today. This is Brian Blood, who was awarded second place last year and received a $3,000 cash prize and a feature article in the digital edition of Plenary Magazine. And the grand prize winner receives a $15,000 check and will have their painting featured on the cover of Plenary Magazine. That was Jennifer McChristian from last year receiving her award virtually. She was headed to Italy the next day to teach a workshop and wasn't able to attend the convention. And actually, now that I think about it, the last three awards have been uh, given away virtually because of COVID, which is not an easy thing to do because you have to find someone in the artist's life who can coordinate with you to secretly print a check, hide a check, and uh, keep the award secret throughout the entire thing before they are announced. And I have to say the last three years has been interesting. <laughs> So hopefully this year, you guys will all be there in person and I will get to hand that winner a check on stage. I'm really looking forward to that. And all of this to say that the 12th annual competition ends tomorrow night, that's March 31st at midnight. So if you want your chance to be on stage with me in May, better enter your paintings by midnight. Our judge for the February competition was Scott Shields. He is the Ted and Melza Barr Chief Curator and the Associate Director for Crocker Art Museum. He has over 25 years of experience and has curated more than 75 exhibitions. Thank you for bearing with me through all of that. And shall we get to the awards now? First up is going to be our honorable mention awards. We have 19 honorable mentions each month, and these recipients are included in our monthly winners gallery on fineartconnoisseur and outdoorpainter.com and in the permanent winners archives on plenairsalon.com. 
They'll be included in a showcase in the digital edition of the June-July issue of Planner Magazine and be promoted through our social media platforms. They'll also receive a press release highlighting their award that they can share with their followers, collectors, and local media. First up will be our Animals and Birds Honorable Mention, which goes to Sherry Mason for Alone But Not Lonely. Artist Over 65 Honorable Mention goes to Barbara Tapp for Winter Light Rocky Point. Our beginner honorable mention goes to Renee Reed for No Skin Teeth. Our building honorable mention goes to Alexei Zukov for Past in Present. Our clouds and sky honorable mention goes to Paula Holzclaw for Firelight. Our drawing honorable mention goes to Alexei Bukov, Zukov, apologies, for Noir. Our figure and portrait honorable mention goes to Nicole Monet, The Unveiling, portrait of Matthew Innes and Frankie. Our floral honorable mention goes to Lana Privitera for Pink Day at the Office. Our landscape honorable mention goes to Jessica Bryant for Lower Salmon River at Fall Creek. Our nocturne honorable mention goes to J.M. Broderick for Portlandia. Our planner acrylic honorable mention goes to Benjamin Kendall for Hotel Royale Riviera. Our planner landscape honorable mention goes to Valerie Craig for Grasses. Our planner oil honorable mention goes to Mary Pettis for A Day Spent with Lilies. Our plein air outdoor still life honorable mention goes to John Eisman for Where Is My Bike? Plein air pastel honorable mention goes to Michelle Seeley for A Tease of Rain. Our plein air watercolor and gouache honorable mention goes to Highland Shi for Morning Sunlight of Seeleong Lake. Our vehicle honorable mention goes to Paula Holtzclaw for Fisherman's Rest. Our water honorable mention goes to Daniel Bailey for Carpe Diem. Our Western honorable mention goes to Sandra F. Harris for a legacy of love. Congratulations to all of our honorable mention recipients. As I said before, you'll be able to see their artwork in the February Winners Gallery on fineartconnoisseur.com, as well as in the digital edition of the June-July issue of Planner Magazine. Now for our category awards. These artists receive a gift card for an instructional art video at PaintTube TV. They'll also be included in a showcase in the June-July issue of Planner Magazine, the Winner's Gallery on fineartconnoisseur and outdoorpainter.com, the permanent Winner's Archives on plenairsalon.com, and are all eligible for editorial coverage in our various e-newsletters. They will also be featured throughout our various social media platforms. Up first is Best Animals and Birds. Charles Pyle for Cows of By the Road. Best Artist, over 65, goes to Stock Schluter for Arcata Bottoms. Best Beginner goes to Daniel Bailey for The Light of Our Life. Best Building goes to Bob Shackles for Remembering Jerry. Best Clouds and Sky goes to Michael Kotarba for Convection. Best Drawing goes to Agnieszka Kotarska for Girl Without a Pearl Earring. Best Figure and Portrait goes to David Tanner for Waiting for the Light to Go On. Best Floral goes to Sherry Farabaugh for Sweet Kajari. Best Landscape goes to Jessica Bryant for Section 34 Creek. Best Nocturne goes to Cher Price for London Calling. Best Plein Air Acrylic goes to Steve Browning for Connemara Summer. Best Plein Air Landscape goes to Rick J. Delante for Rockpile Beach, Laguna Beach. Best Plein Air Oil goes to Ryan Jensen for The Sound of the Marina. Best Plein Air Outdoor Still Life goes to Kathleen Kalinowski for Woodstack. 
Best plein air pastel goes to Aaron Schur for Into the Valley. Best plein air watercolor and gouache goes to Barbara Tapp for This is Garapata. Best vehicle goes to Bashina Fuchs, So Others May Live. Best water goes to Show Wei Leo for After the Storm. And finally, Best Western goes to Nikita Budkoff for High Noon Quail Hunting near Tehachapi. Congratulations to all of our category winners and our honorable mention recipients. They will be featured in the June-July issue of Planner Magazine, as well as um, the winners being included in the annual competition. Up next is our People's Choice Award. Each month, we open up voting for all of our entered submissions, and each artist can promote their work through social media. The artist who receives the most votes receives $100 and their painting included in the showcase in the June-July issue of Planner Magazine. The People's Choice Award for February goes to Barbara Magui for Opiongo Marsh. Congratulations, Barbara. I love the fall colors of that painting. Next up, we have our third place award winner. This person is going to receive $200 cash and will have a showcase in our e-newsletter Inside Art. And the award goes to Paco Martin for his painting, The Dance of Leaves. Paco, our judge Scott Shields had this to say about your painting. The subject matter is simple and one that is encountered often. The approach, however, encourages the viewer to look at it again. Nature is never as simple as it seems. Congratulations, Paco. Up next is second place. Our second place award winner will receive $300 and will also get a showcase in Inside Art. The award goes to Kimball Geisler for his painting Sky Forms. Scott said, this painting works because of its breadth, paint handling, and drama. The scene is awe-inspiring and tranquil at the same time. It clearly evidences an artist with great experience in landscape painting. Congratulations, Kimball. It's a beautiful painting. And finally, our last award for the evening is first place. The first place award winner receives $500, a feature on fineartconnoisseur.com, outdoorpainter.com, Fine Art Today and Planner Today, as well as a showcase in Inside Art. And the winner is Wei Li for his painting Metaphor of Plants series number eight. The relative simplicity of the painting subject matter is countered by the meticulous technique. What others might have been, what otherwise might have been a less than exciting view of the landscape becomes exciting because of the way the artist has handled it. Congratulations to all of our winners and honorable mentions from tonight. And thank you to Scott for taking the time to judge the competition. I do like to ask our judges what advice they would give to artists who are thinking about entering a competition. And I wanted to share that with you tonight. He says, most important is good photography. It's very hard to judge a painting if the photograph is out of focus, small, etc. I also think signatures that are too large or prominent can distract from the art itself. And finally, the works in this show are shuffled, meaning that one artist's work isn't all together. Through in other in other jury shows and artists' work, sometimes are all grouped together, and this presents a consistency of style. He says presenting a consistency in style and approach is important. As to the juror, it con it connotes that the artist has found their voice, and I can agree with Scott in that. I've had artists or sorry judges before say that they've recognized that an artist had several paintings in the competition because they were able to see that same style across all of the paintings or the voice, as Scott has said. All right, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Remember to enter your paintings by tomorrow night at midnight to be included in the 12th annual competition so you can come to the convention and come see me on stage in May. Thank you all. Um, remember to enter. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you guys have stuck with me not only tonight, but all throughout the year. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks guys. <laughs>